So right now, as I'm recording this, we are 45 minutes away from the Sword and Shield trailer that's going to come out today. I'm going to start streaming at 5.30 this morning. Basically streaming my reaction, but here's five things you guys can do while we wait for the DLC to launch. Presumably, by the end of the month, we don't know if it's going to be delayed or it's going to be June 30th or it's going to be sooner. We don't know yet. At least I don't know. You guys will, because by the time this is uploaded, the you know, trailer will be up. But here's five things we, you can do while you wait for the Isle of Armor to launch. One thing I could tell you to do now, and I know probably none of you have done, is farm for, ra or for raid candy, you know? You're doing this, you just farm rare raids. We know that, like, we know good raids are coming. At least in my eyes, they're good raids. We have all Gigantamax forms coming back before the DLC launches. And there's no better time to farm them than right now. We have, I think, 20 plus Gigantamax forms, according to Cerevi and other news sources coming for the next update. So the first thing you can do is just, you know, grind raids and make sure you have XP candy decks or level up your favorite Pokemon in this DLC pack. So we still don't know what's all coming as of right now. Number two connects to the number one in a lot of different ways. Um, so you want to build up on money and watts. You know, you do this from doing raids, presumably. Because when you do raids, you get a lot of rare items that you could sell to shops for high prices, which usually means you get a shit ton of money. So these are, there's actually two different categories for three. You know, one, make sure you have your Pokedex finish and you have your shiny charm. Number three, as you all know, is shiny hunting. Shiny hunting isn't as fun because obviously there's, you know, dense but you can still enjoy shiny hunting your favorite starter from this There's region no or way. um alone because those start they know. haven't been oh, released yeah, in raids yet so if you have those it's kind of a flex what the fuck is that? Oh. now you might be asking what to do after all that you know it's just the basic stuff you can master ball hunt you do this by basically having eight to 16 different boxes of wonder trader pokemon i personally have like eight and a half but doing this, you get a lot of different items, such as PP ups, PP maxes, stuff you could just generally use. It's nice to have. And you also get a shit ton of watts doing this this method. You basically go into a den, invite others, skip forward a day, repeat, go to the Pokemon Center. You know? If not, I'll show footage of it on the screen right now. And yeah, you basically you farm for Master Bowls. I recommend you do this because we don't know all the Gigantamax forms coming in this next update. We only know about the like, Kanto and the Glar starters. Now you might be asking, what 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 else can I do? So using all the watts you get from either watt farming or you know just farming candy, you could actually go to the digging duo. I think that's what they're called, whatever the fuck. And you could go to the either one. I prefer the guy on the left. And you just sit there and spam A for fossils, so you can shiny hunt the fossil Pokemon of Galar. Well, that's the five different things that I've come up with and what I've been doing to prep for the DLC to keep me entertained with Pokemon. If you've already done these, well, good job. You fucking outsmarted me. If not, here's five different things, you know, you could be doing. I hope this list helps you in some way, and if it did, make sure to like and subscribe. But if not, then I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.